You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Let's go live in New York City. We're joined by Ben Crump, who is the attorney for the Dante Floyd, Dante uh, Wright family, as well as the George Floyd family. Uh, ben, uh, first and foremost, um, Move rather quickly uh, there uh, to uh, uh, indict and arrest this police, this ex police officer uh, who killed Dante Wright. Uh, yes, they did, and I hope that we are starting to see a precedent set. I was with the uh, mother's um, Gwen Carr, Eric Gardner's mother, uh, Michael Brown's mother, Leslie McSpadden, and uh, Stefan Clark's mother. None of those women ever got any charges bought. And I think it's the blood of their sons who have helped us get to this point in America where we see some semblance of due process for black people who are killed unjustly by police. And I further think that there is a still, when you think about Officer North, who was in that same district, that same circuit, was uh, convict, charged and convicted of third degree murder when he killed a white woman in very questionable circumstances in a dark alley where uh, others had called the police on her. They couldn't see what she had in her hand. And uh, he shot. And not only did her family get $20 million rolling, but also he was convicted and uh, sentenced to 15 years in prison. No criminal history or anything just like this police woman but uh, they charged her with second-degree manslaughter, so we will have to see uh, what the jury would do in this case. Um, and one of the things that, that that also jumps out there, of course, um, you know, what do you make? Uh, we're discussing this with our attorneys uh, who are on our panel right here: uh, Scott Bolden, Malik Presley, Robert Patillo. Uh, immediately going to it was an accident. It was an accident. But also, you hear her in you hear her say uh, in, the, in even in the video that she thought it was. That she said, "Taser, taser, taser." She's like, "Oh my God, I shot him." What, what do you make of that? Well, what I think, Roland, is this is a 26-year veteran uh, who was training other officers that day. And, you know, you are trained, I understand from our police expert, that you have your gun on your dominant side and you have your taser on your opposite for dominant side. And it should be one of those things that people practice constantly while they're uh, working as a police. And so... She knew the gun was in her dominant hand. It weighs 2.6 uh, pounds. The taser wears eight ounces. The gun is all black. The taser, and we uh, believe it's all yellow, but we know if it's not, it has a bright yellow stripes on it, so it shows you that it's the taser. And she holds it in her hands for at least five to six seconds based on how we've started breaking down the video and what's really troubling to me, Roland, is the fact that she never should have drawn her taser in the first place. It's a misdemeanor uh, warrant that they have out for his arrest. It was a traffic uh, violation. They say his license uh, on his license plate registration was expired, even though the DMV in Minnesota has sent out a uh, directive to police that because of COVID-19, they were behind on people being able to register their vehicles, so they were giving them a di directive not to pull people over for not have for having expired tags. But I believe he was a young black man, and he was really pulled over for driving while black. Um, we've seen some folks post videos and present information that said that this so-called warrant that was sent to him because he did not appear was sent to the wrong address. Is that true or false? Yeah, it appears to be true. He never got the warrant, and it wasn't the address that he was living in. So, and and also... I, and he had, he had re showed up to court every other time since he had uh, been charged with this crime. And um, 
we've heard, uh, uh, first of all, again, people put, putting all stuff out, all kinds of stuff out there. Have they, have the police stated, have they told the family specifically why Dante was stopped? Was it because of the air freshener? Other people saying, oh, they, 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 he had a warrant. Well, first of all, they didn't know that until af actually they stopped him. So what have they said is exactly why he was stopped in the first place? You know, Roland, as uh, your great panel, uh, panelist Monique, as well as uh, Scott Bolden know, often they start to try to justify things and re-engineer justice. Uh, they are trying to talk all about this warrant, but at the time they stopped him, they said it was for an expired license. Uh, no. And then oh. they started to say, oh, well, you have an air freshener hanging from your rearview mirror, and that is a violation in the state of uh, Minnesota. And so it was almost as if this training officer who was training these officers how to do their job was training them to do the most when it's a marginalized minority, uh, engage in the most oppressive and excessive uh, discretion that you can use against these black people. What well, I still come back to saying it was about driving while black because we know most times they stop white motorists for traffic violations. They give them the traffic ticket and let them go on their way. And I know personally, it is within the police discretion when you have a misdemeanor warrant out, you can give them a notice to appear. You do not have to arrest them, but seems like they do the most when it's black people. But you say that the that they were instructed by the DMV uh, because of COVID, COVID, and because of the issues there, not to stop folk for the very reason. There was a memo that they sent out from DMV saying there are many people who could not get their uh, registration renewed because of COVID and they may have expired. So they said there are going to be a high number of expired tags. That's what the directive said. Now, I guess it's within the police discretion that they still can stop and arrest you, but we know that DMV memo went out to all police agencies in the state of Minnesota. All right, then. Uh, actually, well, uh, last question for you. Um, today, you had the confirmation hearing of Christian Clark. She has been targeted by the right wing uh, significantly. Just your thoughts on what it would mean for her to be confirmed to run the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice. You know, when you think about uh, Dante Wright being killed, uh, we're within 10 miles from where Derek Chauvin was on trial for George Floyd's death, which I think is one of the most consequential uh, civil rights police excessive use force matters in our time. And this still is happening. Now more than ever, we need a strong justice of uh, department, Department of Justice, and we need a strong civil rights director there in the Department of Justice to enforce the equal protection laws for marginalized minorities. So we got to fight for this sister. We can't let them uh, uh, kick her out like they have kicked so many women of color out just because they choose to stand up for us. All right, Ben Crump, we surely appreciate it, man. Thank you so very much. Hey, thank you, Roland, always. All right, thanks a lot. All right, folks, back to our Roland Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.